For many families, it seems like the price of health insurance just goes up year after year. It does, but for teachers and state employees in West Virginia, that price really held steady for a very long time. News Channel 3's political reporter Curtis Johnson tells us that could soon end with a vote set for tomorrow. Labor unions join forces Friday to speak out against premium increases for those covered by the state's public employees insurance agency, better known as PEIA. The proposal before lawmakers, an increase of more than 20 percent. And we're not saying that we shouldn't have an increase, but that is a huge increase all at once. The cost teachers and public employees pay for PEIA, a major issue five years ago when teachers went on strike. The cost of PEIA for those workers has been frozen for years, and lawmakers who support raising it now say it's crucial to take action. We have to do something. I mean, it, it is degenerating into a plan that our providers will not take, and is that really a benefit if nobody takes it? Lawmakers hope for a return to teachers and other public employees paying 20% of their premiums, a number they say has slid to just 17 percent. It also forces spouses eligible for coverage elsewhere to leave PEIA or pay a higher rate. Supporters contend a $2,300 pay raise and the promise of tax cuts will cushion the blow. Okay. Labor and unions say again. those numbers really do not add up. They argue it could cost some families $200 a year and that lawmakers should use surplus tax revenue to fund PEIA. Over a billion dollars in a surplus, that's a pretty hefty surplus. So I would say let's look for another funding source. Well, that's what we've done for a number of years, and it simply has not worked. Senators passed the plan last week. Delegates could cast their vote Saturday. Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3, Charleston. Labor unions already reported a small victory limiting how much those in border counties pay for out-of-state doctor appointments. If delegates approve the plan tomorrow, senators could give a final approval as early as Monday.